up this next section of track, up to that wooden trestle bridge you saw from down below. Periodically look sharply up in the right hand side, and you'll see a few examples of what are known as box canyons. Now these are very unique rock formations that we'll see very narrow, narrow canyons up to the right hand side. They're evidence of how this mountain range was formed. A tectonic push, push magma up into the air, soil fell into the magma, supercooling it, and cracking the rocks, separating the granite into these box canyons to be up on the right hand side.
left hand side, you'll see it come into view in about 30 to 45 seconds from now. You'll get a great view of the train curve in your left hand side as it heads over that bridge into our first tunnel of our journey. When your coach heads over the bridge, you can look sharply down to your left, you'll see 1,000 feet down through Glacier Gorge to the Valley Four. After that, it'll be time for our first tunnel. This one will be 250 feet long and very, very dark inside. side in this small valley. Near the bottom you'll see a rocky shelf open up. 
This is the last remnants of the White Pass Trail used in the Great Stampede of 1898. Scattered alongside the trail, you see scrap metal, shovel head, pickaxes, actual artifacts of the Great Stampede. This That's narrow trail is barely more than two yards wide. It has supported two-way traffic for man and beast alike. The Stampeders bring all the goods up to the summit of the White Pass, where the Northwest Men of Police would inspect their goods before they'd be allowed to enter to Canada due to fears of a famine outbreak. It would take some people 40 trips up this trail to get all the goods to the summit, 800 miles of hiking to make it 20 on the map.
have their horses through it. Mm -hmm. Alright folks, by this time you've had a chance to meet one of my fellow guides over at Mandarin Liz. As they come into our rush once again, however, this time they're not coming through empty handed. They're going to have three souvenir items for sale with them. The first item is the black white pass baseball cap. This cap features our logo in the front, Skagway Alaska written below the back, and it's fully felt for adjustable. It fits about 99% of adult heads. It is $10 US and available only on the train. So that is 10. For 15 US, you get the White Pass Scenic Journey DVD. The DVD runs 105 minutes long, plays internationally, and has footage of the entire train ride shot in all four seasons. So I had is 10, DVD is 15, and if you'd like to purchase them both together, we'll call it a combo for an even $20. With this $20 combo not sold separately, we'll throw the 32-page Scenic Journey magazine as our free gift to you. This is not sold separately. If you'd like to grab anything, you might want to get your money out and ready at this time, as due to the length of the train, my fellow guides will have time to come through these items one time and one time only. They do accept U.S. cash only. They can make a small amount of change if needed, but do prefer exact change if possible. And of course, they're both excellent guides. who will be more than happy to answer any questions about our journey today. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>